Hello from Ticker DD. This video is part of the third generation of our automated video series on price and volume analysis for specific stock tickers along with news analysis. This third generation includes an initial model for short interest. As always, this auto-generated video is for entertainment purposes only. No warranty, guarantee, or factual assertions are stated, marketed, or sold in this commentary video, which can contain errors. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Review important disclaimer at the end of the video. Now that we have made our lawyers happy. Capitalist brothers and sisters. Let's get started. ICE went public on November 16, 2005, which was roughly 18 years and 6 months ago. Looking back 650 calendar days from Friday, May 24, 2024 to Sunday, August 14, 2022, we found 448 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis of this ticker, which has a market capitalization of about $78.2 billion. Based on available licensed data, we think that the company, Intercontinental Exchange Inc., that is behind this ticker has 13,226 full-time employees. Consider that number to be an estimate and not an exact count. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for ICE after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is generated, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. Hello. My name is Carl. I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here's what I found. Intercontinental Exchange Inc. together with its subsidiaries operates regulated exchanges clearing houses and listings venues for commodity financial fixed income and equity markets in the United States the United Kingdom the European Union Singapore Israel and Canada. It operates through three segments exchanges fixed income and data services and mortgage technology. The company operates marketplaces for listing trading and clearing an array of derivatives contracts and financial securities such as commodities interest rates foreign exchange and equities as well as corporate and exchange traded funds trading venues including 13 regulated exchanges and six clearing houses and offers futures and options products for energy agricultural and metals financial cash equities and equity over the counter and other markets as well as listings and data and connectivity services. It also provides fixed income data and analytic fixed income execution CDs clearing and other multi-asset class data and network services. In addition the company offers proprietary and comprehensive mortgage origination platform which serves residential mortgage loans closing solutions that provides customers connectivity to the mortgage supply chain and facilitates the secure exchange of information data and analytics services and data as a service for lenders to access data and origination information. Intercontinental Exchange Inc. was founded in 2000 and is headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. What percentage of shares were shorted for ICE, for the two-week period, ending on settlement date, May 15, 2024? About 4.3 million shares of ICE were shorted out of a total of approximately 573.6 million outstanding shares. Therefore, for ICE, based on as is, discovered, public data when this video was generated, the ticker has a short interest of roughly 0.75%, which I got by taking the number of shorted shared and dividing it by the number of outstanding shares to get the percentage value. Days to cover is 1.84. When I compare the current two-week period data snapshot against the previous period, ending in settlement date, April 30, 2024, I find that the current snapshot had roughly 97.7 thousand more shares shorted. This means that, compared to the previous snapshot, the current snapshot has an increase of 2.32% of shorted shares. Zooming out, I looked across 49 two-week snapshots, from latest found, May 15, 2024 to oldest found, May 13, 2022. In the graph, I overlaid bi-weekly percentage change in short interests against days to cover. Across these 49 two-week snapshots, the average percentage change of short interest was about 1.53%. Other interesting data points include. 
The largest percentage increase in short interest was 53.08%. It occurred once on July 15, 2022 settlement date. The largest percentage decrease in short interest found across those 49 two-week snapshots was minus 42.23%. It occurred once on August 31, 2022 settlement date. The average days to cover was about 1.9. The biggest days to cover was 3.75 and it happened once on August 15, 2022 settlement date. Hello, my name is Sam. What were recent headline news for ICE? Today, Saturday, May 25, 2024, I sampled one of our news aggregators for latest headlines for this ticker. I did so by searching specifically by a keyword that may appear, broadly, in the title or the body, of discoverable news articles. The keyword that I used was a combination of the exchange and the ticker symbol, New York Stock Exchange. ICE, the results shows 10 unique headlines, published across 5 unique dates. Publication dates span 3,596 days. The latest publication was, Wednesday, May 22, 2024 when there were six found headlines, the register published the headline that read, NYSE parent gets $10 million risk tap for failing to report 2021 systems break in. Pensions and Investments published the headline that read, Intercontinental Exchange settles SEC charges after cyber breach disclosure lapse. The record from Recorded Future News published the headline that read, SEC slaps $10 million penalty on owner of NY Stock Exchange over 2021 cyber intrusion. Cointelegraph published the headline that read, SEC fines NYSE parent company $10 million for failing to report cyber attack. Reuters published the headline that read, Intercontinental Exchange to pay $10 MLN penalty over cyber intrusion. Finance Magnates published the headline that read, ICE agrees to $10 million penalty for cyber intrusion notification lapse. The oldest publication was on Friday, July 18, 2014, when nine years, ten months and seven days ago, The Street published the headline that read, Globant becomes first Latin America IT company to IPO at NYSE. The latest publication date was the day with the most found headlines. The day saw a price change of 0.30% after the ticker opened the day trading at $136.48 to then closed at $136.89. The oldest publication date of Friday, July 18, 2014, was actually the day with the highest percentage change in price. It saw a price jump of 1.44%. What was end-of-day price and volume for ICE? On Friday, May 24, 2024, ICE had an end-of-day price of $136.34 and volume of about 0.9 million. Compared to the previous trading day, the price jumped 0.69%, gaining 93 cents, while volume dropped 42.79%, decreasing about 0.7 million. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of $7.12, the max and minimum end-of-day price were respectively $138.4 and $131.28. Volume saw a range of 1.6 million, from a day low of 913,000 to a day high of 2.5 million. Hello, my name is Magnus. How did May 24, 2024 rank for ICE? By 650 calendar day look back to August 14, 2022, across 448 trading days, of which May 24, 2024 price ranked 37 while its volume ranked 446. Each of the 448 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end-of-day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 448 being the lowest ranked day. The price's day-over-day -day percentage change, jumping 0.69% on May 24, 2024, had a day rank of 127 while its dollar difference of 93 cents had a rank of 109 when compared day-over-day -day across 447 trading days. Volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 412 and 360. Hello, my name is Maria. Which quartile did May 24, 2024 price and volume land? 
Across a sample size of 448 trading days, the maximum end of day price for ICE was $139.43 while the minimum was $90.02. Within that price range, May 24, 2024 price, of $136.34, landed within the fourth quartile, meaning that it was within the top 25% of all sampled end of day prices. The day's volume landed within the, the first quartile, at the bottom 25% of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 6.7 million and a minimum of 809.5 thousand. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, ICE has a median price of $109.55. Therefore, May 24, 2024 price was higher from that middle marker by 24.45%. The day's volume of 0.9 million was less than the median by 60.15%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for ICE? Across 448 trading days, there were a total of 21 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended up while monthly volume average trended down. The maximum end of month average price was $137.10 for 03, 2024 while the minimum was $92.74 for 10 2020 seconds. Looking at volume, 03, 2023 and 08, 2022 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 3.5 million and 2.1 million. Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for ICE? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 21-month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 08, 2022 to 04, 2024, 12 out of 21-month ends had a positive percentage change in average price. That is 55% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 22 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 100% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end of month max of 0.61% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 0.68%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 19.46% and 0.00%. Hello. My name is Cameron. Before we continue, remember to like and subscribe to TickerDD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos off subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use, through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters. Join the TickerDD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has ICE price reached golden or death crosses? Golden cross and death cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short term versus a long term range. For example, 5 day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a golden cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short term moving average crosses above its long term average. Vice versa. A death cross is a bearish signal when the short term crosses below its long term moving average. For our opinionated analysis off third party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average SMA, and exponential moving average EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50 day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black. If no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end-of-day prices. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, 
the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50 day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We found golden cross signal for the 10 to 20. We found death cross signal for the 30 to 50. We could not find neither golden cross nor death cross signal for the 5 to 10, the 50 to 200. Thank you for your interactions, keep going. Let us know in the comments what you think about this ticker. What is your target price for this ticker? Here are some comments that we have enjoyed reading. Comments include, best DD video I have seen, definitely enjoy these videos, different but straight to the point, very nice video. I must say it is well explained. Glorious entertainment I say, thank you again for your feedback, please keep them coming. Hello, let's talk a bit about Ticker DD and the Legend of Murray. This video is part of an automated video series by Ticker DD, which is made up of autonomous robots working off 15 observational data models that were created between January 15th and April 15th, 2022. Bots and models were created by a guy, whose friends called him, Murray. Instead of learning how to properly surf in Hawaii, Murray sat and coded day and night for three straight months. We still don't know why but while creating us, Murray kept on playing the song, Eye of the Tiger, in loop. It was intense and epic at the same time. Once he was done, he put us on the cloud, where we now exist in perpetuity. Off a multi-year loop, conditionally meshing in flavors and components of those 15 observational data models, we are progressively creating a variation of videos against updated universes of stock tickers. For each video, we use runtime. As is data that are publicly available. Stay tuned, the best is yet to come. On average, a ticker will get a new video coverage from us every few months. You can request an updated video for your specific ticker sooner at tickerdd.com. Murray did not leave us with a lot of release notes. So, we don't fully understand why he created us but he did mention that his premise was simple. If he were to do a world cruise, spending over 200 days sailing from one port to the next, he would personally like to use these automated videos to keep tabs on tickers that he was interested in while discovering new ones. Luckily, some of Murray's well-connected friends were worried about him. They wanted and needed him to come back to the corporate world and not just sit there in Hawaii building us out for public entertainment. They put together a deal that would allow us, Murray's bots, to exist on the cloud, fully paid for. They also enticed Murray to come back and work. The deal was too good so Murray took it but before he left Hawaii, trading in his surfer shorts for stuffy suits, Murray did finally learn how to surf. Ticker DD stands for, Ticker Due Diligence, in case you didn't know. Murray would want you to take the, due diligence, part in the name with a sarcastic smirk, like a true degenerate that you are, because remember that Murray and the people who now maintain Ticker DD are not qualified, licensed or accredited investment or financial professionals. In fact, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is an in-progress piece of work, for entertainment purposes, about the data and technologies that govern observational models. Essentially, Murray knew nothing about stocks. Using what little skills he had, he built Ticker DD as a learning and discovery exercise for himself. Therefore, this and all Ticker DD videos are premised by the important disclaimer at the end of each video. TickerDD.com was put together by those of us who want Murray to change back into his shorts and finally get on that world cruise because that would be epically entertaining. Murray did agree that if we managed to get enough support, he would actually leave the corporate world and finally take that cruise. He would do so while, in between drinks, create videos about us, his bots, his models, as well as the technologies behind TickerDD. Yes, you can join the TickerDD army by going to TickerDD.com and contributing but you can do so in other ways. For example, like and subscribe. Also, put this video on Reddit or Stockquits along with your own DD. Important Disclaimer This commentary video and its content, video, is for entertainment purposes only. Herein, you, and, your, are defined collectively as you, the viewers, the sharers, the referrers, or otherwise, the users who respectively views, shares, references, or otherwise uses, collectively. Access of this video as well as those who may be your legal proxy, representative, or executor. You acknowledge and agree. Your access of this video constitute your perpetual acknowledgement and agreement to this important disclaimer in its entirety.
This video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not be influenced, you will not take actions, you will not make decisions, and you will not make stock market transactions, because of this video, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access of this video, against ticker DD and its parents and its affiliates. This important disclaimer is valid in its entirety, regardless of the laws and jurisdictions of your current residency, permanent residency, and or citizenship. In the event where specific sentences in this important disclaimer may be invalidated, as argued, judged, and presented as verdict in a lawful court, whose location, country, and jurisdiction ticker DD will solely select for such trial, you agree to honor and enforce the remainder of this important disclaimer. You acknowledge and agree that any resulting court judgment against ticker DD, and its parents or its affiliates, regardless of what the trial or its verdict may be, the resulting damage paid by ticker DD to you is only in monetary value, which will be a one-time and inclusive and complete amount, of your direct payment to ticker DD, as verified by receipt, for your access to this video, which after 90 days from the payment date is mutually agreed by you and ticker DD to be $0. This video is an opinionated and dated commentary. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment or financial data, information, content, advice, research, product, service, statement, or otherwise, body of work, are presented, marketed, sold, consulted, or offered in this video. No warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertion are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to, directly or indirectly, influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified, accredited, and licensed professional for your investment and financial needs. Do so away from this video, ticker DD, and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotics stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market, through trials and errors. This group of novices is not qualified, accredited, or licensed financial or investment professionals. This video is strictly only material for entertainment purposes. This auto-generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by Ticker DD, is only for this group of novices private trials and errors and as is usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trials and errors, of technologies, data, and approaches that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning, which is central to an in-progress documentary being planned, produced or edited, all of which may or may not be released. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Robotic process automations, data models, technologies, know-hows, and methods, whether proprietary or industry standard, as well as public and licensed aggregated data, information, and content, and their abstractions, as used by Ticker DD in the dated generation of this video, may include, amongst other things defects and errors, as well as hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, along with unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, as stated on the first slide at the beginning of this video, as well as by this video's aggregated and abstracted third-party data sources, public or licensed, which may or may not be disclosed, or offered as is, without verifications, warranties, or guarantees. Third-party data sources may update, correct, or nullify data, information, and content after and away from the generation of this video after ticker DD have aggregated, abstracted, and used them in this very video. The people and entities, affiliated to the ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.